Hello. Last time we talk about Unico, and one of the most popular Unico、uh, encoding method is、uh, UTF-8. Okay, so、uh, we are going to go deeper talking about that.、Um, the purpose to use the Unico because now we have a multilinguals.、Uh, yeah, when people get connected to the internet. You know that、uh, the page may have uh, uh, different languages. Right, that's a far more than ASCII can handle. So, so the people、uh, think about: can we can we use a code to kind of include all the、uh, uh, all the language letters on this planet? Yeah. But the problem will be if we use a fixed length code,、uh, our code for one character, the code length will be、uh, very very long. For example, the four byte,、uh, that become the problem because、uh, sometimes you just want to use、uh, English that require only one byte or seven.、Mm, ASCII code. We could talk about ASCII. There's a seven bit,、uh, exactly. But People may think the ASCII is just one byte. That's fine. So the UTF-A is、uh, brilliant. It's a clever encoding because it uses a variable length concept. Okay, last time we talked about that.、Uh, uh, it favor the English letter alphabet,、uh, so they fully compatible with、uh, ASCII code. If we just use English, let Will remain the one byte. Okay, so let's read on.、Uh, I think that、uh, so for some language they they will use、uh, two bytes, and some language will use、uh, three bytes. Okay, so the information will be here.、Uh, ASCII code, one hundred and twenty-eight code point,、uh, needs only one byte. Hmm, that's a good thing. But next will be some language,、uh, mostly Latin script alphabet,、uh, IPA. That's an international phonetic symbol.、Uh, used to represent the sound phonetic symbol Greek,、uh, and、uh, Hebrews. Blah, 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 blah.、Uh, a lot of things they use a two byte. Yeah. And what about Chinese? I mean, we are Chinese, right? Well, Chinese, Japanese, those uh, uh, these three language we use.、Uh, what did he say? Three bytes, okay. And some emoji, okay. And、uh, mathematics,、hmm. maybe use、uh, four bytes, okay. So. The more frequently used,、uh, they use a、uh, less code length. Okay, that that makes sense. Yeah. So, uh, uh, we are going to visit this because、uh, we need to have a look because this four byte, this byte alignment,、uh, they have a special、uh, purpose. Okay.、Uh, X here means the real data,、uh, and so if you have the three byte.、Uh, You need to,、uh, you can observe this for these bits will be、uh, mandatory, okay? And your actual data is、uh, put here, will be put here, okay? So let's、uh, take a look at our last,、uh, our last example. Uh, uh, we talk about. Last time、uh, we have an example called a Chinese start txt, right? Okay, this is the text I type、uh, in editor,、uh, saving some part is a、uh, English chen and some part is a、uh, Chinese, right?、Uh, so when I save it as a txt file,、uh, if we look at the data size, you'll be surprised that the Uh, uh, the original、uh, the character is C H E N. That's four space、uh, five and a Chen Chen Yu. This three, right? 
it's not that um, it's uh, altogether is that uh, eight characters. Not how come we got a fourteen bytes? Okay, so here's a mystery. Okay, so you can you can use the editor uh, to open it. Okay, let's try use the editor to open it. Shall we? Uh, last time I use uh, Atom, right? Atom. See, we can use the Atom. Yeah, loading. Yeah, uh, you can see the data uh, will be here. Okay, kind of scroll here. And if I change to the different encoding method, uh, you can see my Chinese character become kind of chaos because we use a, a different encoding method to interpret that byte. So be aware that uh, so, uh, to proper display your uh, language information nowadays we use uh, UTFA uh, mostly. Okay, so how exactly computers store those information? Okay, uh, can we use uh, some Python to explore it? This is a uh, uh, this video I would like to guide you uh, through this. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, open our Python. Okay, P Y T H O N Python or Python three. Uh, let me make it uh, larger. Okay. Okay. And uh, first, uh, let me create a string uh, called uh, uh, chain. Okay, I'm still in the interactive mode. Okay, and uh, this is a string. Okay, string, string. Yes, uh, I put it into the variable, and uh, you can use uh, s uh, length to get the length of the string. Okay. It's A, <laughs> C, 1, H, 2, right? Those, so you count it, it's an 8. Okay, you can retrieve the string. Retrieve the string through, we call a list uh, or array. Uh, in some other language, we call it array. Uh, use an integer as an index. So 0 will be the first character, okay? And 1 will be second character okay so two three and four uh, be aware four is actually the blank is actually uh, require um, uh, if it's an ASCII there's an ASCII code for it right and the five yeah so the Chinese actually literally is one character in Python uh, so it's a quite high, le high level, but how exactly this Chinese or next Chinese six encoded? Okay, uh, let's figure that out, right? So let's uh, seven. So from zero to seven, altogether we have uh, eight character, right? Zero to seven, eight, right? So you view. Uh, retrieve, try to retrieve the number eight. Uh, I, I'm sure you got the error, right? Because out of the range. Okay, so that's another story. Uh, later on, we talk about the uh, list. So uh, I would like to use, uh, uh, for example, uh, one, zero, zero. Okay, so see this character. Actually, uh, we can we can use uh, uh, a command called ORD. So what is ORD? Uh, ORD is called ordinal. Okay. Uh, see if I can find some help. No, ordinal. Can I? Yeah, ORD. Uh, Unfortunately, this help doesn't show why it's called order ordinal. So you can Google, which means the the order the order uh, uh, in the code book. Okay, so each code letter they have uh, their their order. Okay, so if you given the code, uh, 
but into the sea, they will return its uh, its a uh, uh, cold point uh, by integer. Uh, so last time we looked at the ASCII code, we, we know that uh, uh, we can use uh, uh, space. Okay, we know that's a, that's a 32, right? And what about uh, ASCII code? ASCII code. What is the next for ASCII code, remember? Hmm. Uh, here is a space. The uh, next one is a uh, ex uh symbol. So mm, let's try. Yeah. So you can see the next one. Uh, we'll get the uh, the thirty, the uh, thirty three, right? The just the uh, uh, how ask you what define, right? So uh, the reverse of the ORD, um, if you use a CHR, uh, you by given it uh, uh, the integer, uh, if you give it an integer, they will give you the character. So kind of reverse function for each other. Okay, ORD, CHR, pretty useful, right? Yes. So we are going to use this to look at, the, uh, for example, uh, what if I give um, my Chinese character, uh, for example, I give the Chinese character um, uh, this, uh, my name, yeah, and ORD, what happened? Wow, it gives a pretty large number, okay? Uh, who determine uh, this word should be put it in uh, the organization? Okay, so I my name, uh, my next character, this one. Hmm. Ooh, what a lovely name. Hun means uh, persevere. Yeah, that's another entry point, right? Yo. Okay, so this is the uh, the code point that we call the Unicode, uh, and you can you can uh, use uh, this is a decimal representation. So if you if you like, you can use a, a hexadecimal or binary representation. Okay, to uh, convert it because the most of the code point. In technical documentation, they use uh, by hexadecimal representation. Okay, so uh, you can use this. Okay, to check out the internal form of the Unicode. Okay, so basically, CHR will return. Uh, by if you give a, uh, a, a character, they will show you it's a Unicode. Okay, and but. Uh, but the Unicode from this, uh, it looks like uh, uh, representing the hexadecimal from my uh, from my understanding. It looked like only two bytes, okay? Only two bytes, okay? Because that's a one byte, that's another byte, right? The only two bytes. How come the uh, uh, in my video I said uh, they use a UTFA uh, and the and the website shows that uh, Chinese may use a three bytes uh, to represent what's going on about it. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, have a further exploration. Okay. Uh, in our previous uh, S, we have this string, right? We have this string. So if I put this string uh, into encode, encode, and and I can use a UTFA. Okay. Wow. You will get a, a, a very interesting representation, um, which you may feel puzzled or confused. Uh, the first I will explain to you. Uh, the begin with the B. So what is this? Uh, I help it. I help 
let's try uh, let's try simply copy copy this string b b and a help no type it type it now help it type it okay uh, Python uh, Python tells me oh it's a byte type okay it's a byte object okay so bytes object um, give you the you got the raw data uh, the computer internal phone it all depends on how you interpret it okay so here I got the uh, first byte C second byte H E N yeah and the here is a space and the letter they kind of refuse to show me the character because uh, uh, this uh, Chen uh, may correspond to several bytes okay from the knowledge of uh, our uh, simple math if what if uh, this Chen correspond to this three byte this Hen correspond to this three byte yeah it's very likely right this Yo correspond to this three byte it's very likely right so we can we can do do um, do some kind of encoding to see okay uh, actually the default if you use the encoding default is a UDFA is so popular okay so you see uh, I got uh, this three bytes okay this three bytes and um, and this is how exactly we store the text information nowadays in the computer system if it's uh, encoding uh, using UTFA and uh, then uh, if there's a Chinese in the file they will they will uh, take three bytes to store okay so how do we validate it how do we validate it uh, let's take a look at uh, some tool uh, nice tool uh, I would like to introduce you uh, if you on the Google uh, you can type a hex hex editor okay hex editor uh, which means a hex a decimal editor online I like to use this one hex add dot it uh, browser based online offline hex editing okay you just click in and then you got a very fancy binary mode uh, to allow you to editing uh, the data in byte alignment okay which is pretty useful for us to uh, exploring the computer computer information computer science okay and now I would like to uh, uh, wait a minute Mm, I would like to mm, how can I uh, I would like to uh, okay I would like to throw um, my Chinese file okay this this one to here just uh, drag and drop here okay and uh, your file will be uploaded to the file system and uh, kind of represent the information for you yeah so here is uh, what I you to observe this system uh, this is the by the it's a binary representation uh, so C H E N space we can understand right it's because the original is a C H E N uh, is a uh, excuse me the original one is a C H E N space like this right so the C uh, according to ASCII code okay ASCII code with ASCII code hmm <laughs> I need a more space ASCII code ASCII table ASCII table where it is yeah this one 
According to ASCII table, the big letter C is here, right? Okay, so this this one um, is uh, is what four three in ba in uh, base sixteen. Okay. Okay, no problem. And uh, remember, this is no longer the decimal base ten; it's a base the sixteen. So this one, this one, uh, this one, C, E, N, 20 in base 16 is space, okay? And this one starting the chain, chain, C, H, E, N. But because this is now is the byte alignment, I, it cannot show properly, okay? But I would like you to read this uh, in this uh, brow, this software, uh, they have a uh, UTFA character, they decode it uh, successfully, okay? Uh, the information requires this three bytes, this three bytes altogether. But if you switch to there, okay, they show the invalid data because it's not a proper alignment, okay? Uh, let's move to the next. Still invalid data, see? Let's move to next. Okay, Hen. Okay, let's let's jump to our Python, okay, and see what exactly we got uh, in this kind of uh, exploring. Okay, uh, our Python code show us the chain. Uh, the first byte will be e nine in base number sixteen, right? E nine and then ninety nine. Okay, number and the B three, yeah, exactly. So this is uh, how your Chinese or other other Asian language or different language encoding in the uh, UTFA. Okay. So I hope that uh, this video uh, is useful uh, uh, for you understanding the mystery of the uh, computer system store the information. It's all illusion, it's all binary. And some coding uh, to presenting, representing the character using ASCII code. But sometimes uh, uh, for dealing with uh, foreign languages, uh, they use uh, UTF-8, okay? If it's a user UTF-8, they have to follow the standard, okay? But the internal form is all binary which means zero one zero one zero one. Okay, I will see you next time. Bye bye.